Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Raisha and today I'll be introducing you guys to a very interesting book which is A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. This is one of the most interesting books I have read in a while and this is a science book. But for those of you who are already rolling your eyes because science books are supposed to be boring, I would say that this is different and it should definitely, definitely be read. It answers some of the oldest and the deepest questions that we have ever posed about the universe and ourselves, covering everything from the Big Bang to the rise of the civilization and then the author really seeking to understand how we got from there being nothing at all to there being us. The author Bill Bryson also takes us on a journey to understand the size of the universe, the atoms and subatomic particles and then he later on goes to explore the history of geology and biology and the traces of life from the initial stages to there being us and focusing especially on the development of modern humans, that is the Homo sapiens. And a large part of this book is really devoted to relating humorous stories about scientists who were into research and discoveries and their sometimes eccentric behaviors. For example, Fritz Zwicky, who coined the term supernova, but he was so notoriously aggressive that he used to do one hand push ups in front of anyone who used to think he was out of shape. And Pilatri de Rosier, for example, who tested the flammability of hydrogen by gul gulping down a mouthful and blowing across an open flame and thus proving at a stroke that hydrogen is indeed explosively combustible and that eyebrows are not necessarily a permanent feature of one's face. <laughs> so the author really confronts the challenge of making um, boring science ideas simpler and more interesting for the readers and in large part, I would say that he has been successful in doing so. And it is a really interesting book. We also get to know about James Hutton, who theorized that land masses, when they crash into each other, give rise to mountains and Einstein's general theory of relativity and Planck's quantum theory and Henrietta Leviatt, who discovered a way to find out the distance between galaxies, which is pretty cool. And I overall, I would say that this book is really clear and very easy to understand, super interesting. And the author has gone to great lengths to explain concepts and doesn't leave a chance to remind us time and again that there is a lot of knowledge that is still left, that is still unknown. So, particularly, this book also emphasizes, the author particularly emphasizes that we should really appreciate the fact that we are alive because it was a, by a wonderful stroke of luck and good timing that it took infinitesimal amount of time by the universe and that matter came together to form you. So you should be extremely grateful for being able to breathe, for, able, for being able to do stuff until you cease to exist, obviously. So congratulations for making it this far. Good job. You are special and live your life to the fullest and enjoy yourselves immensely. And do hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting videos. Bye.